Hello and good morning, CTS 265, Section 840 students for the Fall 2016 semester at Anne Arundel Community College. This is the Cisco Networking Academy CCMP switch uh, CCMP route course, and uh, this morning's video tutorial is going to be sort of a supplement to the initial BGP material that we talked about. And what we're going to be talking about here is BGP uh, load balancing, or you, sometimes you hear it referred to as BGP multipath, where when we are multi-homed to the same autonomous system number. And so let's pull our drawing up here. Uh, this was what we just used for lab 7.2. We're going to make a minor modification to this. Uh, and what we're saying here is that router 7 and router 1, that these are all going to be in AS, and I think I put them in AS 100, right? So same IP address configuration and everything. It's really not that relevant. But what is extremely relevant is when we're doing load balancing in BGP, uh, we're saying that we are peered to the same provider, the same autonomous system number. We have multiple connections. So we're multi-homed to the same provider. And again, no more AS65000. It's all AS100 here. So this is ISP. Uh, and we again, we can change this here. So this will be customer A. And this is going to be ISP2. And this will be uh, ISP... Well, I guess we'll say ISP2 for both, right? So this is ISP2, and customer A has a connection to ISP2's router 1 and ISP2's router 7. Those are both in Autonomous System 100. So we're going to take a look at how we would load balance here, right? And again, the reason that this is critical is that if these are two different Autonomous System numbers, right, you're not going to get the load balancing to function. We need to be, when we do load balancing, we're load balancing to the same autonomous system number. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. We're also going to see we introduce a new uh, status code as well into the BGP routing table, uh, the local rib, uh, and that is M for multipath. So, or the maximum paths is the value that we're going to change. So here we are, and this is customer A. Remember, right? We kind of were pretending that router 2 is now customer A. So when I say show IP BGP, we take a look here and we see that customer A is receiving the same prefix, this 1.1.1.1, the same NLRI, again, from the same autonomous system number, right? And this is ISP2 is what we're saying. ISP2, and that's also ISP2. Autonomous system 100. Uh, but again, remember we talked about BGP. By default, BGP is going to select the single best path. And that's what that BGP best path selection algorithm is all about. It's about BGP picking the single best path to take. And in this case, the valid and most importantly best, that greater than sign path that we're going to be taking is through 192.168.1.5. In other words, over to router 1 in ISP2. Remember, this is router 7 here. But this has been selected as our best path. Now, what if we wanted to load balance Right, and here's that M for multipath. What if we wanted to load balance, since we have basically two equal cost paths here, we're directly connected to ISP2, uh, router 1 and router 7. So if we wanted to leverage both of those paths, we certainly could. And this is where we have to change the default BGP setting for maximum paths, which is, remember, 1, because we're picking the single best path by default, now we're going to change that. We're going to tell BGP, hey, if you've got two paths to the same autonomous system number, let's go ahead and let's do multipath. Let's load share. Let's load balance. And again, remember, uh, by default, it's going to be source and destination, not per packet, but source and destination load balancing is how this is going to be done. So let's go ahead and clear our screen here. And again, it's a very, very simple change. We go into global config. We say router BGP 300. That's the AS here for customer A. And I simply say maximum paths. If I do a question mark, you can see that on the 1841 even, I could have 32 maximum paths over which I could be doing load balancing. Now, that's probably not very realistic uh, in a uh, small to medium-sized enterprise to have 32 connections to a 
uh, single internet service provider over which you're going to be doing load balancing, although it is possible. Um, so we'll say maximum paths, we'll tweak it up to 16. So now we've got some debugging on, so we should see some activity here, and we do. And let's talk about this activity. So take a look. Remember when we had the single best path being selected, it would come up and say installing one of one, right? And that's what we would see typically. And I, if I could scroll back here, we would see that. But now let's take a look. We put max path 16 in here. And it says non-multipath best path, best path 0 of 16. So 1 of 16 multipath best path for 1111 is coming in from, so we're receiving the best path coming in from router 7. Uh, but now we're making a revision here. We're going to install 1 of 2 and 2 of 2. And you can see the IP kind of gets truncated there, unfortunately, at the end of that line. Uh, but these are now both being installed into the global rib because we've informed BGP that if you have more than one path to the same NLRI via the same autonomous system number, we can go ahead and leverage those multiple paths. Now, what does that look like? How is that going to change the output that we see when I say do show IP BGP? We'll take a look there. Now we get a different character in that second column. Because remember, it's not the best path. This is my best path here through router 1. It is simply a multi-path where BGP is basically going to override its default best path selection algorithm uh, I'm just, it's going to enhance it basically by overriding the default of saying, hey, we're going to choose a single best path. BGP is now saying, I no longer want the single best path. I can take up to 16 paths. And again, stressing, as long as they're coming from the same autonomous system number. So we end up with the M showing that it's going to be installed into the global rib, like we saw in that debug message. It's going to be installed into the global rib along with the best path. And what does that look like in the global rib? Well, let's go ahead and let's pull the global rib up. And we're going to say, do show IP route. And just like we did, right, just like we did with, and again, you can see here the metric is zero for both, right? So we've got two equal cost paths. The administrative distance for eBGP is 20. And just like OSPF and just like EIGRP, when we were doing equal cost load balancing, we are now doing the same thing with BGP. Again, overriding BGP's, whoops, sorry, overriding BGP's default behavior of picking a single best path. So now we can do source and destination based load balancing through autonomous system 100 via those two routers that we're connected to, router one and router seven. And what we're simply doing here is, and this is a very likely scenario, is that we are learning, and where did my drawing go? Did my drawing get Iconify, there we go. We're basically learning, and again, saying that this is one big AS100 over here. We're learning 1.1.1.1 from both router 7 and router 1, but it's again coming from the same autonomous system number. And that is how we can leverage BGP to do BGP multipath. And again, very simple command, a single command that allows this to happen. Do show run section BGP. And that is increasing the maximum number of paths that BGP will install into the global rib, as long as they are of equal cost and as long as they are coming from the same autonomous system number. All right. Well, that is BGP Multipath in a nutshell. We had talked about it on Monday. I wanted to make sure that I gave you an example of not only how to configure it, uh, but what to look for in the output of the show IP BGP and the show IP route commands. All right, enjoy your weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday.